and we back. Now, as I'm recording this video, I am 24 hours away from free agency officially starting. But, <laughs> Woj and Shams are working overtime. They know everything already. It's like, does tampering not exist? How do we know that Kimball Walker is already going to sign to the Boston Celtics? That means that Kimball Walker and the Boston Celtics had to be on the phone before free agency officially started, which is tampering but you know what the league don't care because we're about to see some major changes did y'all know that 40 percent of the league is free agents this year so many different players are changing teams now again so they can't officially sign their name on the contracts we know so much already early this morning we know that clay thompson is getting that max from the warriors congratulations well deserved we found out that Derrick rose is going to detroit that's cool with me I can, you know, Detroit's not that far from me. So if I wanted to see my boy play live one more time, Detroit is a short trip. So shout out to the Pistons for that. What else do we know? Oh, Kyrie Irving and the Brooklyn Nets is pretty much a done deal. And now this Kemba Walker deal. Now, if you want my official responses or uh, uh, reactions to the Kemba Walker thing, I recommend you go into the description and watch my podcast. We talked about it there. But we are in 2K, and I'm going to do the Boston Celtics rebuild. Now, I know it had been rumored for a few days, but y'all know me. I need concrete evidence of something before I do a rebuild on it. So the Boston Celtics is so interesting. Their point guard rotation over the last four or five years. They had Isaiah Thomas, who was an MVP candidate. Then they brought in Kyrie Irving, and now they got Kemba Walker. They continue to stockpile these point guards, and maybe Kemba can be the guy to get them a championship maybe we'll see well we're gonna do it in this video now i must say that i'm doing this with my own little spin everything that i do in this video may not be entirely 100 realistic but i'm gonna try to keep it as realistic as possible at the end of the day y'all like seeing wacky trades so you may see one or two in this video now in real life he signed in a four-year 141 million deal but in 2k the most i can give him is four years 130 million it don't matter too much at the end of the day so Here's my plan, where we already got Kemba Walker, which is a W. We lost Al Horford. We need to get a center. So in order to open up some more money for a center, we need to trade Yabu Sele, man. And I know he's got his super fans out there, but he's making about $3 million a year. I can't, can't afford that right now. We need the extra $3 million for a center. So hopefully we can trade Finder him. I'm not going to finesse the box like that they're giving me a first round pick can somebody just give me a second can anybody just give me okay somebody's gonna have to give me a second the grizzlies will give me a second perfect he can go there and, and be with john ja morant but now that opens up a little bit more money for us to potentially get a center there are so many people or so many centers on the market again like i said there's 40 percent of the league 40 so there's a lot of options we have the knicks and kevin durant or the clippers of kevin durant are close to a deal which is interesting um, again, I'm only caring about the Kimball Walker deal. So I know in real life, Kyrie Irving is going to the Brooklyn Nets. But in, the, in this video, he may not be there. Let's see where he actually signed. He went to the Lakers. Uh, the Lakers fans dream, but it's not going to happen because he's going to Brooklyn. So we have to figure out our situation here. I just want to see how much money we have. We can give up to about $7 million. That's not too bad. That's enough to get us a quality center. So let's figure out what our options are. Dwayne Damon is always a great center. Y'all know I say it all the time. Dwayne Damon can fit anywhere. He can shoot three and he protects the paint. A guy like Rashad Holmes wouldn't be too bad. He wants about $7 million. I'm trying to figure out if that's a good contract. There are some options here. So let me figure out exactly what we want to do. So I actually misspoke. The most we can give up is about $5 million, which... Yeah, it's going to be tough to sign a quality center for $5 million. In real life, you will probably see some of these centers taking bad contracts. But again, I mean like bad for them. Like they're going to be signed for like $1, $2 million. But in 2K, it's kind of hard to do that, man. So we got $5 million. We don't want to bring in Pau Gasol. He's 100 years old. We still got Daniel who we have his restricted rights. So maybe him and Time Lord are going to share those center minutes. But this is gonna be tough and a lot of this is due to the fact that of course Kimber Walker got the max and we still have Gordon Hayward's contract on the book as well what I'm gonna do with Gordon Hayward is I'm gonna play him at power four and give him a chance to redeem himself but if it doesn't work out then we'll eventually trade him and then we also have these rookie contracts of Romeo Langford Grant Williams and Carson Edwards on the books so a center it's not gonna be a first year uh championship I can tell you that much so Daniel has an offer from the Mavericks that we will not match. I was hoping we could keep him, 
on that one year deal but 12 million for two years is a bit rich for my blood for him so we're gonna let him walk i'm gonna bring in mike muscala to play backup power forward and i think i had another offer out there Nobody's offering Terry Rozier contract, so we may be able to keep Terry Rozier as a backup, which is kind of a dub. I know in real life, he's probably going to go somewhere and get a contract, but it's 2K again, and it don't always go that way. And we just need a backup small forward, and that's, yeah, Derrick Williams. All right, player progression. Kemba gets worse. I think a lot of this team's future, of course, has to do with Jason Tatum. How good can he be? Because if we had his back or this, this two-man duo of Kemba Walker and Jason Tatum, and he blossomed into a star player, then we're a good company we're gonna do well and davis got worse everybody else got oh my god derrick williams got a lot worse all right well that's how it's gonna go i'm gonna probably send like romeo langford to potential camp and i'm gonna show y'all the rotation again having gordon hayward start a power four for us all right so of course we have kemba walker marcus smart jason tatum gordon hayward and ed davis then off the bench we still have of course jalen brown terry rogia romeo langford robert williams now what i'm gonna do is like i said if things don't work out we will trade Gordon Hayward. I'm giving him another chance. And, you know, I, I want to see him get back to the player he was. But also, we're in 2K. You know, don't always work that way. So, I will add him to the trading block for now. Just to see the offers out there. If somebody offered me something crazy, I'm going to take that deal whether he's playing good or not. And I'm also putting Marcus Smart there. Because though I do like Marcus Smart, because y'all know I'm a guy about his defense and all. We have Jalen Brown. Who they're basically, they're the same overall. He's cheap. Jalen Brown's cheaper and with higher potential. And then we also have Romeo Lankford sitting down there as well. So if we can flip Marcus Smart for like a better center or a real power forward that we're in good company. We're going to be doing well. I want to see, I think, the Lakers side Kyrie Irving. Yeah, the Lakers side Kyrie Irving and the rest of their team is, I want to J.R. Smith is back there, which is actually rumored to happen in real life, which is funny. So what we're going to do, we're going to simulate and we'll see how good we are. If we start to suck, then maybe we'll do those trades. Because in real life, no matter... Oh, wait, a first round pick from the Rockets? No, that's not enough. In real life, after this deal, the Celtics stay competitive at the end of the day. I don't think they're a championship contender anymore because they lost um, Al Horford. Al Horford was so big into that team's defense and everything. And he was basically their, their glue guy. But as you see, we're 4-3 and three right now. I think Etuan Moore and Brad Wadamick. No, uh, that's not good enough for Gordon Hayward. But I think our system is still on defense. Can I change that? It is still on defense. We're going to go to balance, man. Brad Stevenson coach a balance team. Trust me. I know he can. So the team is decent. And I think that's what it's going to be in real life. We're at 33 and 22, which is good enough to be the three seed at the moment. Now, what I just saw that blew my mind is the fact that Jason Tatum is leading us to score. <laughs> and I don't know if that's a good thing for Jason Tatum or a bad thing for Kemba. But Kemba's putting up better, like, field goal percentages. So he's just not taking as many shots. Come on, Kemba, make some, take some more shots. But Jason Tatum took a step. You know, he's back to shooting great from the three-point line. How many attempts is he having? Has he attempted a lot of threes this season? He's almost attempted more. Yeah, come on, JT. That's what I like to see. Get behind the arc because he got to the point where he's taking a lot of long twos, which are cool and all, but you also got to take those threes as well. So he's averaging 21, which is dope. Gordon Hayward is having a very decent season as well. So that got me thinking about his trade value. Am I, am I a terrible person? Am I a terrible person because I'm thinking about trading him after he's coming back and playing very well? Maybe I am. Um, but the trade finder is not looking good for him, so you'll probably be on his team. Now, Marcus Smart, on the other hand, having a bad season. <clears throat> he's just having a bad season. So I think, of all things, he might be the one to go. And then we slide Jalen Brown into that starting spot. And Jalen Brown's numbers are better than his off the bench anyway. So Marcus Smart, he's one of my guys because, you know, y'all know I'm a fan of uh, good defense. But at the end of the day, the, oh my, look at this trade. Why would I ever do this trade? Yeah, the trade market is kind of crazy right now. Not many people are throwing stuff out. And I don't want to give up a first round pick. I don't want to give up a first round pick. I need a, I don't need a center, but an upgraded center will be cool. Because though I do like Ed Davis, as I mentioned before, he's more of a backup to me than a starter. Brooke Lopez He's having a bad three-point shooting year, and I don't want to. I don't want to give up a first. Stop asking for my first-round pick. I think that Marcus Smart will get traded. It feels like something I'm gonna have to draw it myself, which I'm cool with. Now I don't know if they accept this deal, um, but the Pacers are the worst team in the league, literally the worst team in the league. So they're selling their pieces. They right now have a three-man center rotation. Somehow they picked up Cody Zeller. They traded for Cody Zeller. You know, 2K is a wild place, um, and they don't want to do this trade. 
They think that Demont Sabonis is a valuable asset, which makes sense because I think he's valuable too. That's why I'm trading for him. And that's not happening. Okay. Um, I thought we could sneak and take TJ Warren from them because he's having a, such a great season. 50% from the field. Not shooting a three is great, but 50%. So I'm going to have to reorchestrate this deal. Give me a second. In order to do this deal, they want our this year unprotected pick and a lottery protected in 2022. I don't think that's a bad deal because y'all see we're the third seed in the Eastern Conference right now anyway. So this pick is going to be 20s. And the lottery protected. I think it's a deal. Mike Muscala, Marcus Smart is going to Indiana. I'm sorry, Indiana Pacers fans. Y'all know 2K never put respect on y'all name. Look at y'all roster right now. Who's running y'all team? You got Victor Lipo, who y'all know is a very good player. Mouse Turner, very good player. Y'all side Nico Miritich, who we got a report today. He's not even playing in the NBA no more. He wants to go play in Barcelona. You re-signed Darren Collison, who we found out is not playing in the NBA no more. He retired. So the two players is no longer in the NBA or now on your team. But now you have Marcus Smart, who can run your small forward now that you traded me, TJ Warren. All right, we got to reorchestrate this team a little bit. So let's see. I do. I still don't want Adrian Payne starting. Actually, he shouldn't get any minutes. But Gordon Hayward will still start because he is having a good season. TJ Warren off our bench can be our backup small forward and power forward. And Davis is tired. What are you tired from? But now that we did make that trade, Jalen Brown slides into that starting lineup. And now we can get Romeo Lank for more minutes. Because look at his numbers. He's not shooting the three ball well. But he's averaging seven and a half points per game on limited minutes. So we up his minutes. Terry Rozier minutes go up a little bit. And we don't have a power four. But we have players that can play power four. I like this team a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Is it enough to win a championship? Only time will tell. I'm going to simulate to the end of the season. Actually, wait. Did Jason Tatum, is he an all-star this year? That's the last thing we got to check. Where do I find out all-stars? Oh, but Kimball was. Kimball was an all-star. So we take that. We have one all-star, Kimball Walker. Even though his numbers are down from last year, he still is an all-star. All right, end of the season. Here we come. Pause a little bit. A very alarming thing I see right here is that Gordon Hayward wants another $20 million a year contract. That scares me. It means that I'm probably going to have to trade him next year before his contract is up because we can't afford to pay him that much money. All right, so we win 48 games. Jokic wins finals MVP. I mean, not finals MVP. He got to make it to the finals first. He won regular season MVP. John Morant win rookie of the year. Seku wins six man of the year. All right. Anthony Davis wins defensive player of the year. Most improved went to Bagley. I was hoping it was going to be Jason Tatum. He was in the running, but it ended up being Bagley. And then Brett Brown, coach of the year, they won 60. That's, that's pretty dope for them. Uh, but it's time for us to try to make a playoff run. We are the three seed, which is pretty good. So, again, 48 wins. It was a two-team race. Like, these two teams are going head-to-head. -head. They're pro One of them are probably going to win the finals. But y'all know 2K loves the Raptors. And they upgraded to J.J. Redick instead of Danny Green. That's a W. That's a W. They probably still got Danny Green on the roster somewhere. Oh, never mind. Danny Green's no longer there. Pistons make the playoffs. The Cavs make the playoffs. But teams like the, literally, the Pacers were the worst team in the league. That is tough. That's tough. So lastly, take a look at our stats and see if it finished up the way it was at the halftime break. And yeah, Jason Tatum averaged 21 for us. Sabonis averaged 12 for us, 12 and 10 for us. Pretty good numbers all around. First round, we're going against the Washington Wizards. Now, Romeo Lankford, he averaged eight, which is great and all. But we're going to take some of those minutes away from you, my guy, because the playoffs and younger players don't really perform that great unless you're Jason Tatum two years ago. Speaking of that, we're going to up his minutes, Kemba's minutes, and Gordon Hayward's minutes. Let's go. First round. Watch the Wizards. Whole round at a time. If we lose, we lose. Y'all know I don't think we're going to win a championship this year anyway. So I do want to try to make a low run. But if we lose in the first round, I'm not too mad about it. And we're going to game seven again, Washington against Washington. And we win um, convincingly. We won by a lot. Great. Next round. This 76er team that was killing the league. Let's see if we can somehow beat them or up 2-0. 3-0. Oh my God. A sweep. Oh, they got to be ashamed of themselves. They got to be ashamed of themselves. They got Dwight H Howard. Mm, okay. Uh, but they basically got the same team. Tobias Harris, Jimmy Butler, Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons is somewhere. And Dwight Howard. I mean, okay. How did they? How much money did he sign for? $12 million. One year, $12 million. Next, against the Toronto Raptors. Now, this is probably where our run ends because Toronto has a brick. But we're up 3-1. Uh, oh, my God. We're in the finals. Against Portland. Portland, okay. 
We might be able to win the championship, y'all. <laughs> a couple small... Listen, look at this team, bro. This team may win the championship. That is insane. All right. One step at a time. We got to win it, though. Jason Tatum averaged 25 in the finals. Insane. I've never went into a playoff series or a video where I was thinking, oh, we're not going to win a championship, and we actually do. That's that's crazy to me. But here we are. I'm not going to end the video just because we won it because I thought that this is going to take multiple years, so I'm just going to take multiple years anyway, all right? So that's something for all of y'all. I did load in the, this 2020 draft class, so it's got the top guys. We did trade our first-round pick, which ended up being a dub because now that pick is basically worthless. It is the... What number pick was it? Uh, who did we trade it to? Oh, we traded the the other pick. We had the Milwaukee Bucks pick, and that ended up being 18. So we actually still have our first round pick, which is the 30th. Okay, that's that's fine. I still cannot believe that we, we won the championship. I mean, you see, I had to double check to make sure the settings are right, but there we are. All right, so we're going to go into this draft. We have the 30th pick. Maybe we. this is the part where we do trade Gordon Hayward, as I mentioned. He wants $20 million a year again. And I, I, oh, wait. He's got to accept his offer first. He's got to accept his player offer. So we can't trade him just yet. So we will use his pick. We're going to tra draft Trey Jones um, just because we won't bring back Terry Rozier. So there's a backup point guard for us, even if it takes him a couple years to develop into anything. So... Also a guy that we're drafting and stashing. Sure. Bring them all. 71 overall, Trey Jones. So this is where things get interesting. As I said, Gordon Hayward was going to accept his 30 plus million. And we won a championship with you. You had a good season, but it's time for you to go. All right. Robert Williams, Carson Edwards is here to stay for another year. And Jason Tatum, y'all know we're giving him that money. And as expected, the market's really not out there for him. So he's going to be on the team. At least for now, until somebody offer me something different. We got to bring back Jalen Brown. But, uh, yeah, it seems like Gordon Hayward is going to be our starting power forward going into next season as well. So, player progression. Jason Tatum is now officially the best player on our team as far as overall goals. Gordon Hayward is still getting better. Jeez, now he's making me double think the idea of trading him. How is he still getting better at 30 years old? I think it has to do with him having a good season after that, you know, that whole situation with his ankle. Um, Ed Davis gets a lot worse. That's no big deal. He's on a one-year contract. We have Carson Edwards get a little bit better to be that backup point guard. I know I was talking about Trey Jones. I forgot that I had Carson Edwards just sitting there. So training camp, um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I, ah, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with Gordon Hayward. That's the real deal at this moment. What do we do with Gordon Hayward's money? Because we cannot resign him for 20 plus million. So do we try to keep him and win one more championship and not have to worry about it? So many options. I decided to keep him around. There was, there's really no market for him. Um, and any other trade that I do, like they were offering me Andrew Wiggins, I'd rather have Gordon Hayward's 34 million than have Wiggins. So we'll just simulate again. And uh, maybe we repeat, maybe we don't. But regardless, this will be the last part of the video. Oh, we started off the season terrible. Now, if y'all want to get crazy, we can get crazy. Uh, they want a first round picture. Blake Griffin, welcome. Uh, Blake Griffin is also, as you know, on a one-year contract. Uh, his last one, he's having an amazing year so far. So I was like, why not bring him in? And I wonder what he's expecting as far as his money goes. Let's see. How much money does Blake Griffin want next year? Oh, we can't even tell. We can't even tell. But Blake Griffin is an obvious upgrade. And we, we suck this season. As you can see, we are 18 and 17, which is, if you ask me, not very good for a team that just won a championship. But... We will continue to simulate, and hopefully we get better after this trade. If not, it is what it is. Giannis wins another MVP. Cole Anthony won Rookie of the Year. Sexton, Sixth Man of the Year. Anthony Davis, Defensive Player of the Year. Most approved, Michael Porter Jr. We didn't. We sucked, man. I mean, not necessarily. Oh, my God. John Morant, all NBA's first team. That's crazy. Uh, we went from NBA to... Oh, this is the two seed? We have 60... I mean, we have 47 wins, and that is enough for the two seed. What is the Eastern Conference right now? Everybody sucks. Listen, every team is not very... How did Lonzo get back here? They signed Lonzo back to run the shooting guard position. I'm To a one-year, $1 million deal. I, 2K, what is, what is going on? How does Lonzo sign for $1 million, bro? That is insane. Oh, Matthew Dellavedova is back with LeBron. That's pretty interesting. That is insane, bro. 
That is insane. I don't I don't even know how that is possible. Um, but they did it. <laughs> but they did it. Here we are, the player stats. Kimba led us in scoring, but he was close with Jason Tatum. We traded for Brooke, uh, Blake Griffith. He played I, but he won no star like we thought he might have been. We're going to shorten the rotation one more time. Uh, we don't need Ed Davis getting his minutes because we got two centers anyway. So we're going to get Kimba those minutes. And then, yes, Blake Griffith some minutes. All right, first round. Similar to last year, I don't feel confident. But if we're the two seed with 47 wins, that means the NBA is wide open for anybody. And maybe it is us for a second year in a row. So we're going against Philly this, again. Uh, we swept them last year. So let's see if we can get that job done again. The one seed got eliminated by the eight seed. Shout out to Orlando Magic. And, oh, I was going to say we almost, we did almost sweep them again. But, oh, my God, they're fighting. Oh, my God. We almost blew a 3-0. We almost blew a 3-0. Kemba had to put up 48 in a game seven. Shout out to Kemba Walker. So the Cavs are back in the conference finals. I don't know who that who they have to make that possible, but it don't even matter because they're down 3-0, 3-1, and then they lose. And Trailblazers again. Yo, the Trailblazers are coming with the heat. They got Steven Adams. Interesting. They traded for Steven Adams. Interesting. Um, the Trailblazers are back. They got swept last year. Oh, my God. They're coming out with vengeance. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. So, I guess that's the end of this video. They came back with some real, real-life vengeance, and they swept us. Got it. Oh, uh, 2K is a, a crazy game. You can love it or hate it, but regardless, I we had a lot of fun with this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave it a like. People keep asking if Kenny do... Uh, LeBron, not a LeBron, a Kevin Durant rebuild, and I will do all of those. I may be a couple days late because, again, I'm not going to be home. But once I do touch down back in Chicago, just know the rebuilds are about to be plentiful. All right? Thank you all. Peace.